Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Texas A&M Aggies. Number 23 is the catalyst that can really get this team going. This kid can hit the J as well as go by you with the dribble. He's definitely a force out there. The Aggies will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Aggies should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. First of all, make sure you get a hand up on every outside shot. Get a hand in their face. Second, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Finally, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. And we've got a whistle and a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Now try to feed the low block. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. For two. Doesn't go. The point guard with the ball. Both teams looking to get things going here. He's got an open look for the shot. Now they'll bring it up. Fake. They work it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Steal. He got the ball back down the floor and he stripped the Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He takes the three. It sticks. Trying to feed the low block. Reese is eager and excited to compete. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to dry out of the ball. The second opportunity. Hustle, baby, hustle. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Go into the low block for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He keeps his dribble as they reset. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Shooter spotting up on a three. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. The point guard takes the pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Another turnover. And we're not talking out with turnovers either. Here's a double team. Looks at a three. Gets it to go. Mm -hmm. 
The Aggies have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? There's the trap. Good fake. He looks at the hoop. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. The shooting guard takes the feed for two. Dumas isn't getting much help from his teammates, but he is managing to get things done himself. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The small forward gets the pass. Knocks it down. Down inside, the center gets the ball. He strips him clean. On the dribble, gives it up. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. the game really important here you want to establish some good tempo they work the perimeter there's a high percentage shot wow what hops baby what hops look at that student body they are going mad isn't it great Brad Picks off the pass. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. to the action. That full screen, gonna use it? For the bucket, you betcha. Gave it up. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate it. There's the block. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Texas a and are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a response. What enthusiasm. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wide open for the shot. For two. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. in the paint but went elsewhere top of the circle they work it around the perimeter here's the three ball 
Dickey Sibley on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They push it up on the break. There's a slam. Check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this, and we'll continue to monitor it from the sidelines. Brad? Thanks, Aaron. The frustration right there. It appears as though it'll be an easy two here. There was no doubt about that one. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Got a man in high post. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Oh, what a strip, Red. Entry pass in the paint. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. That basketball. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. He strokes it. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Turns it over. He shoots from the top of the circle. What should they do here, Dick? I'd go to time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Great anticipation defensively. Pushes it up. He wants a three. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? floor trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing jumps into the defender basket falls despite the contact good job defensively they just won't give many openings pressure in the basketball the dribble gives it up fakes it looking for a screen on top and got it and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot what's the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart and he scores despite the hack Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Excellent 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the rim and no good. High post screen. From right in the circle. Way off target. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. From the baseline. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Controlling the ball. With a deep shot from outside. Texas A&M are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to put that off there. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance to really to win. On the dribble, gives it up. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He shoots from left of the circle. Up and inside. Picked off. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. Gave it up. On the outside, he attempts the three. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Set that screen away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Number 51, pump fakes with a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Tries for two. They still don't score. Looking for a good shot. The fake on the outside. For two, in and out. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up. He fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Way off target. He hits the shot. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Great 
pressure, great double team, really explosive. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Nice fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Number three. And they're gonna count it. Determination, baby. Be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Number three is going to the charity line. He sinks it. Takes the pass in the paint. Strips the ball. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the keys. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Picked out of the air. And he scores it off the glass. They're going to move it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Fast break opportunity here. Oh. The basket counts for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potatoes did? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. At the foul line. Free throw is good. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. And they come with a double team to stop it. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They look like they're having a blast. Tries for two, and he missed. Two for one opportunity. Moving it around the perimeter. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Jumps in. He gets it to fall. Gave it up. For two, perfectly executed. I have to see that one again. Launches away, way off target. Up, easy one. At the end of the first half, the Razorbacks are down by 12. Let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Texas A&M is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, Focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. He goes for the trifecta. <laughs> that 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Goes up for two. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from long range. Range the shot. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. With the fake, here's a double team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. His yeah. shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. There's the trap. He looks for three. That's good. One on the shot clock. Work the perimeter. Spacing so... Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Clements hits the three. Gave it up. He fires from long range. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Looking for a good shot. Steals the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose your air. You get balled like I oh, am. Yeah. Gives it up. He shoots from outside. He puts in another score. He by Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. The fans are really satisfied with what's taking place out there on the court. What a reaction. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. To the line. Gets the first shot. the perimeter leaning in trying to draw contact for the bucket the land Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there I tell you doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot laying in front making him throw the lob pass over the top if you get help you can take that pass away now they work it around the perimeter tries for two Great play to take that to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Working around the perimeter. Trying to pack it. Ooh, look at a shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. Now he's on fire.
pulls the trigger. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Takes away the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Easy one. Puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes the first shot. On both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. it up here's the offensive drop step and a low block but better defense I'll tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline they still don't score They're working around the perimeter leans in nice job to create the angle using the glass the arc way out on top controlling the ball on the dribble gives it up intercepted goes up for two perfectly executed let's see if it looks as good on the replay the paint looking for the foul they let him get into a rhythm there appears to be a mismatch in the post it's definitely a mismatch looking for contact Arkansas is showing a bit of a run here things are going their way right now it up let's see if they can get a good shot this trip the student body has got it going on they look to be filled with rage and eager for a win the student body looks like they're having some fun out there they've got a player spotting up on the three Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. Up and inside. Takes it off him. Get your cameras ready. Nice hops. look from three-point land puts it on the floor and up and under and he missed on the dribble gives it up they're gonna give him the basket and the foul that's huge and one for the senior baby And boy, do they have the momentum now. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Makes the foul shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch.
gave it up. Let's it fly. Makes the shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Runs in first, it, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. Dumps it in. There's the rejection on the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the tray. It's good. Another look. Great double team, really explosive. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. He shoots from the top of the key. He got his jumper off by running out the feather into the screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. Puts it up. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He grabs the rebound. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Gets a hand in the way. Look at the move around the perimeter. Watches the three. Makes it. to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Foul charge. Well, Dick, we're about halfway through the second half. Our focus player, how do you think he's doing tonight? I'll tell you one thing. I don't think he does either. He's really forcing action. Got a lot of bad, bad shots. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in he gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it dick hey that was awesome baby with a capital a he goes to the line routine they're seeing them all fall from the line tonight that's a crucial plus down the stretch brad
get back out on the floor. to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. There he is, strips the ball loose. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Inside. From three-point range. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Looking for a good shot. He launches the bomb. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Yeah, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And the fans here are loving the action. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There's a double. He gets the rejection. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. And a momentary look from three-point land. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, and a shot block. He wants an up-tempo style game. Tries for two, and he scores it off the glass. In the paint. Hard foul. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. High post flasher is open. He's a I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. 
He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to fall. Replay of the night, baby! For two. Perfectly executed. student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. You can't forget about them. The winning rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. He bombs from outside. Buried it. You up the replay, fellas. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Picked off. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Top of the circle. He knocks down another bucket there. This kid's got skills, Brad. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket, and in and out. A three off the rim and no good. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. <laughs> to the charity strike. He can't buy one. He cleans the glass. Some room. He tries the three. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Stolen away. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like cap the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. I ain't backing down is his cry. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. From three-point land, he hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He takes the shot. Rims out. 
Dick, we look back at our focus player, and he was the focus of the defense, I think, too, because he wasn't himself tonight. I tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Texas A&M comes away with a huge win tonight in this blowout. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.